Welcome in on this Sunday, everybody, to the Puzzle Battle World Chess Championship. It's the final day. It is today that we will crown our first ever Puzzle Battles World Champion. I couldn't be more excited. And uh, hopefully everybody tuning in is as pumped as I am as we're about to see. I think unarguably the two best puzzle, sol puzzle solvers in the world throw down. Without any further ado, here we go. Let me welcome my co-host in, Grandmaster Danya Naroditsky, who uh, joined me yesterday and had, had a lot of great insights that frankly I wouldn't normally have as I'm not solving puzzles at the level that these guys are. But uh, Mr. Naroditsky, are you pumped to see what Ray Robson and Jimis98 can do to impress us yet again today. Well, thank you, Danny, and welcome, everybody. I am <clears throat> certainly very pumped. I was thinking about this last night. I think this is going to be probably the most, with full due respect to some of the epic runs that we've seen, this might be the most epic and closely matched contest that we have ever seen. So I can't wait. Yeah, as we look at the bracket, as you said, we have had some very, some very close ones. I think when it came down to our final eight, probably the closest overall was the Christopher Yu versus Ali Reza Farusha. Uh, it was it was it was nothing but thrilling. But we've had many others that were super close, including uh, while it wasn't a head-to-head -head battle, uh, Mr. Niroditsky himself went home by one puzzle when Sam Sevian solved his 41st puzzle with time running out. Uh, so obviously you know exactly what it is to uh, to be sent home just by the the very few hairs on your chinny chin chin, Danya. So I, I, I can't wait to see what happens here. I think I think it literally could could come down to one or two puzzles between Robson and Lotopoulos. It absolutely could, and and we're not just saying that either. Uh, we've both we've seen both of these guys score in the mid and even the high fifties. So if they're at their best today, then we could absolutely see one or two puzzles decide this. We could see a single run decide it. Right. And uh, there's just so many possibilities that could lead to a, a photo finish and just a thrilling finale. And uh, speaking of our of our two guys, let's remind everybody of who they are in terms of their pedigree. I think Ray Robson, a little more known to the uh, general, we'll call it the over-the-board or classical chess community. He is a grandmaster. He's ranked number 68 in the world. Uh, he's only 25 years old. He's from the United States and uh, been competing in multiple U.S. championships, been competing for Webster uh, as they tend to dominate collegiate chess. So so Ray is obviously known and maybe even grew uh, his, his own profile and celebrity as the spicy caterpillar kind of became the stuff of legend in the uh, puzzle leaderboards. But speaking of puzzle leaderboards, it's the other guy, Demetrius Lotopoulos, who I think has just has really shocked everybody. As far as if you're talking inspiration in terms of you're not a titled player, uh, but you're seeing a guy who's competing in a in a prize event that, uh, frankly, is probably more prize money that he'll win even if he does lose today than than uh, most title untitled players are ever able to come uh, and get their hands on, including title players, guys like me. I didn't I haven't won very much prize money, so it's it's really a cool opportunity I think for a guy like this and quite the amazing story to see a 21 year old uh, young young guy from Greece become a legend here in the puzzle solving community. It is. And um, I, I, yeah, for a 2200 rated player to to perform this incredibly is just um, heartwarming. And that guy, I mean, it testifies to the work that he's put in. Um, we can also walk through a couple of statistics um, regarding the match. Um, I guess I should take those. Go for it. Go for it. So we have a couple of very interesting statistics that while they will not tell us what will happen. Um, they can guide our understanding a little bit. Uh, Robson, technically speaking, is the first seed, and Ladopoulos is the twelfth seed. But That's obviously, a that is not right. Right. I mean, that doesn't mean Ladopoulos, as we know, is the twelfth seed in terms of puzzle battle strength. He's probably the first or the second. Now we see the best three-minute puzzle rush run for both of them is extremely high: fifty-eight for Robson, fifty-seven for uh, Jimis. So basically, the same there. Now, the, the stat that might be misleading to an untrained eye is puzzle rush average. With Robson, you know, 52 seems reasonable. You might look at Jimis's and say, how is he averaging 20, 20.5? 20 yep. And the answer is a pretty prosaic one. Um, in reality, Jimis is a perfectionist. So when he doesn't start off well, he will restart a new run. He doesn't care about his average. Whereas Robson, as we know, is incredibly consistent and very, very thorough. So that speaks only to their style of solving, not necessarily right. to their success rate. Now we see best puzzle battle, 63 for both of them, just a monstrous uh, number I that I still mapping that. my head Yeah, around. that's crazy. 
And uh, their best puzzle battle world championship round, 55 for Robson, 54 for Jim. So we see how close all of these top statistics are. And uh, their semifinal average, also very, very close. And the win probability based on an algorithm um, gives Robson a slight edge, but we can see it's going to be very, very close according yeah, to I, all I mean, of these statistics. In, in terms of speed chess championship probabilities, it's it's practically a coin flip um, when when you're that close, right? 58% to 42% is uh, is very close to 50-50. And yeah, you did a great job breaking that down. Uh, Jimis has actually solved more than 18,000 puzzle rushes. But oh again, as, as Don just said, <laughs> he, he kind of has more of a, a style like, hey, if he knows he's not on his best run, it's kind of like go big or go home for him in terms of puzzle rushes, which is why he'll he'll quit some early if he gets one wrong, um, which, which is probably the one sort of outlier throwaway stat there. But overall, overall, yeah, these two guys are very well matched up. That 58 to 57 score is exactly the format we're going to see here, three minutes a piece. So it's, uh, it's, it's going to come down to one or two puzzles. Let's remind everybody of the format. And... Uh, let you let you uh, see see the the man known as I guess you would say uh, Hugh Jackman's long lost father who shows up to prove the real origins of Wolverine the very strong jawed Doctor Wolf um, and uh, the he is a, a virtual coach personalized training that is available in the App Store you should check it out uh, if you're an Android user it's coming very soon but go check that out but onto the format the puzzle battle matches will consist of ten rounds same thing we've been doing no curveballs today. Points are awarded by the margin of victory, which more than any other matches here, I don't think we're going to see every round, Danya, the, the lead necessarily get bigger for one player over the other. I think it's mm. it's going to be when we really see it, it stay close. Um, and and if, if we're wrong, a player can get no more than 10 points in any round. So even if it's a bad round for someone, that sort of caps to keep the competitive fairness balanced. Uh, and if matches are tied after after 10 rounds, we have sudden death. Sudden death is pretty simple. It's just that it, the winner stays and the loser goes home. So uh, not even really much to talk about or show there since uh, it's time to get our, our players on camera. And we can see the uh, the final rush actually from yesterday that left Christopher Yu uh, at home or wherever he was. Actually, I never know. I think he was at, at home. Um, but yeah, uh, we're at a hotel. <laughs> we're at a hotel, <laughs> right? We've seen him there jumping on jumping on the hotel bed after he eliminated Ferrugia. But these two guys are both in the same locations as we've kind of seen them and come to know them, Danya. And uh, the round, the first round of play in the Puzzle Battle World Chess Championship is going to be starting any any minute, any moment, any second. Man, this is going to be epic, and I think they're off. So they here are we off. go, just like that. Just like that. And we might see Jimis jumping to an early lead. Although Ray, as as he showed yesterday, he's gotten much faster at that, the first set of puzzles. Yeah, we see they are uh, they're deadlocked right now. Eight eight nine nine nine. Now, as we, we said, Ray has gotten faster. For those of you who have been following him for a while, he's he even said he's ooh. Well, on ooh, that note, maybe Danny, maybe wow. that's the risk of going faster as he he can open the door of inconsistency that normally doesn't exist. Look at that. We just saw Ray Robson get a puzzle wrong. Before Nerves. puzzle fifteen, that's never happened before. Was that a mouse? I didn't even see what he got wrong. I couldn't believe it. I guess it's a, it's either nerves based or it's a mouse slip or both. No, I don't think it was. Uh, it was. It was. Uh, he 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 played the wrong move at the end of a combination. I've already got the puzzle pulled up, so we wow. will uh, be ready to go as soon as it's there. But if if that leads to a, a victory for Jimis, then then wow, that's going to be one that yeah. comes back to haunt Ray. Yeah, Ray's struggling here. He's much slower than usual, and you saw he got stumped on, on another one for about 10, 15 seconds, so he's he's still within range, but he needs to be very careful about not getting a second one wrong. That would yep. be a, an early disaster. As you pointed out many times, right, it, the, the first one you get wrong doesn't, doesn't necessarily change your approach. It's the second one you get wrong that can be a game changer. Right. And the reason for that, everyone, is that you've you've got to be able to to keep going fast. And if you get one puzzle wrong, that usually doesn't deter you from, from being confident, trusting your intuition as a great puzzle solver, or in some cases, just knowing the puzzle based on the pattern or whatever. But once you get that set one wrong, it's just the human doubt that creeps in because at any, and you're a mouse slip away, if, if not even a miss puzzle away from losing. The third three strikes and you're out for, in case there are anybody tuning in who for whatever reason hasn't done a puzzle rush or puzzle battle yet, uh, and right now we see Jimis pulling away. He's the first one to the mid-40s. And I'm 
I'm surprised, Donya. This is this is impressive, and I I just I I didn't expect yeah. uh, Ray to get it, uh, one wrong so early. I agree. I thought Ray was going to jump onto the early lead, and we see Jimis with a clean slate which means that you can really take some chances as you approach the 50th puzzle. And that really gives you that cushion. Ray, yep. we see he's got to slow down. You really, Ray doesn't like getting any puzzles wrong as we know. Right. He's a, he's a, he's a purist. Yep. Um, so that's going to hurt him. And we see Jim is the very hefty lead here. Yeah. He's the first to 50 and we will have fifties today, obviously with these two giants. And there you have it. Jim is misses his first puzzle right wow. there. Wow. But look at that puzzle he just got right. That was like a seven-move combination he uncorked in about a second. Crazy. Okay, but it looks like Jimis is going to take the first round, even with that second strike. He finishes with waiting for the last puzzle to see it before mm -hmm. I call it. Looks like it's officially in the books. 49 to 52. The first round is done, which means Jimis 9-8 has a three-point lead and... Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. As we pull up the first puzzle that Ray Robson got wrong before 20, maybe, okay, ever is certainly not the case, right? But uh, certainly during during the Puzzle Battles World Championship, we have not seen Ray ever, ever have uh, a misstep like this. Yeah, crazy. I mean, I don't recall him, him missing a puzzle this early. So definitely no, it, intrigued and I, and I to see what he closely. missed. He played mm -hmm. the right idea. So black is in check. You move the king, and he he executed perfectly with queen e8, and knight mm -hmm. takes e6. But here, he attempted to finish off the job with queen f8, but the move is bishop f4, which is actually checkmate in one. So wow. he just he just straight up missed the puzzle in, in not seeing that, uh, that bishop f4 was a mate in one. Because for the record, queen f8 is also checkmate, but in four moves. And that's one of those really frustrating ones, right? Queen f8, king g6, queen g7... Uh, or I guess it's not, it's not queen g7. What's the fastest mate? Oh, it's funny, actually. The fastest mate is to just go right back. Because if king Oh, yeah, just say sorry. Just basically yeah, say exactly. sorry. Yeah, exactly. The fastest and, uh... mate is to just go right back. So, again, that kind of <laughs> proves why bishop f4 is definitely the best move and why Ray missed it. So, how do you recover from that? Before, uh, Jim has got one wrong. He actually got two wrong. I only pulled up the first one he got wrong. But overall, all that really matters as far as the critical takeaway from our first round is that Ray Robson is human. He's not a puzzle-solving robot sent back through time to change the future for one lucky Danya. He's actually a human being. So Yeah, he is, which, which, which we were doubting yesterday. Um, but apparently he is, and apparently he's prone to nerves, just like we all are, which, which is, of course, hard to believe. But he did, a, he did a, given how early he missed a puzzle, he did a pretty good job recovering. Yeah, he and, did. And his score of 49 is, is by no means just an absolute insurmountable disaster. Right. And uh, by no means, you're not about to be sucked into the TV from Poltergeist, are you? Your camera's flashing a little bit. We're just making sure you're okay. I saw that. Yeah, I don't know where that's coming from. It might be from... You're uh, doing great. As long as you shut the TV off and, and Samara's not after you, I'm going to be okay. Um, uh, Samara's always after me. I'm a horror movie fan, so <laughs> that of, reference I understood. Speaking of getting after it, let's remind everybody why I'm wearing this funky yellow T-shirt and why we have the, uh, as I said... In between slaying vampires, volunteering, he also is Hugh Jackman's long-lost father, which is one of those weird, weird movies where it turns out the guy playing your father is your real dad, and that's who that's who Doctor <laughs> Wolf is. So he's uh, he happens to be a, a a masterful chess coach as well. Your virtual chess coach is waiting for you, and uh, his name is Doctor Wolf. Go download him in the App Store. So uh, the score after round one, it's in the books. Jim is nine eight, the underdog in many people's eyes. The favorite overall, if you're if you're into untitled players shocking the world and doing things that have never been done, has a three point lead. And speaking of the prize fund that maybe more than than any any chess master from Greece has ever gotten in, in just a few hours of work, let's remind everybody of the cash prizes uh, at stake here. We've got three grand, two grand to the winner, I believe, one grand for the loser here in the finals, and he's already taken home a few thousand bucks to get here. Donya, you you pretty pumped about that? Very. I mean, this this is serious motivation here. These guys are giving it their all. And um, man, I mean, this is really going to come down to the wire. I'm, I'm so looking forward to you know, the seventh and eighth runs just when, when everything's based on nerves and everything's based on one puzzle. Yeah. And uh, I can't wait to see it. Let's uh, let's get the second round underway, I guess, here in, in just a few seconds. See if Ray Robson can recover, given that he's now I mean, it's the first time we've ever said that. Can Ray Robson recover? Yeah, that's a, that's it. Doesn't roll off the tongue, does it? <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't roll off the tongue. <laughs> Very good. Uh, 
way to say that. It, it, I was going to say neither does his username actually, but uh, but we'll see if he can if he can recover and uh, and and keep the party going. I guess his puzzle battle world championship title is still alive. At least it's still there in the books. And I, after yesterday's show, it was hard for a lot of us to feel like yes, Jimis nine eight is amazing, but Ray put up two fifty fives, which is together the two best runs we've had right in the event. So it was hard not to. Uh, Hard not to feel like Ray must be the favorite coming in here. I don't know that I'm jumping off the train on that just yet. I think it was very out of character to see Robson miss a puzzle that early. Um, but uh, but okay, we'll we'll see what happens here in the second round. Yeah, um, Ray needs yeah 50 plus would be very nice here. Um, just to, just to, just not not to let this get away from them. You know, you don't want another one where Jimis gets you know four or five more points because that runs up very quickly. And here we go. Now, yep, again, off. one of the storylines, Donya, has been Ray's speed overall. He's not seen as the fastest mouse in the West. Like we said, that nickname reserved for you previously. Um, <laughs> but but he said himself, he knows he can probably speed up at times. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess that round was, was an outlier and will remain that way and that Ray will stay consistent, kind of true to the reputation. But, but that was shocking, and I wonder if... There isn't that little bit of nerves that he acknowledged for the first time. He knows he could lose really against his opponent in this event. And uh, and maybe that's what led to that, that early misstep in the first round. Yeah, and I agree with you. I think we're not going to see any more at the risk of imposing the commentator's curse. We're not going to see any more wrong from Ray until, you know, the 40th or 50th puzzle. Um, that was his allocated, you know, one misstep. <laughs> and here we see still not as fast as he usually is in one minute. He usually gets, you know, now 26, 27. We see Jim is getting 27 in one minute. <clears throat> yep. They're neck and neck though now. Okay, and uh, now it's, it's 29. 20. Who's going to be the first to reach 30, which is, I don't know if that's a magical marker. Oh, well, Jim is now at 31. Um Usually the first yeah, to reach 40. forty between these two guys, right? It's not even a race to thirty in a minute and a half. It's is anybody still perfect at forty? And and when these guy with these guys, maybe even perfect at fifty. Right, exactly. Um, for mere mortals, thirty is a good number, but for these guys, thirty is nothing. <laughs> it's nothing, and now we've got thirty-six to thirty-six. These guys are solving puzzles like just instantly back to back. They're on the same puzzle wow, right look now. At that. As uh, I can't even tell who's solving it first. Looks like Ray. Ray got past it just barely. Jim is now solving the same back rank puzzle. Well, that's a beautiful study wow, there. That, that, that Rook skewer was awesome. And Ooh, oh, Ray. But oh, nope. They both. Did they both miss the same puzzle? They both missed the same one. Well, that makes my wow. job easy. We'll, fi we'll figure out which <laughs> one it was here. <laughs> that's always cool when two incredible puzzle solvers miss the same one. It, yeah. it speaks to the presence of a very tempting continuation, and Jimis oh, gets a second Jimis, one wrong. And Jimis misses his second puzzle. That, that, that could end up being it with only 30 seconds left. Ray pulls ahead by two now. Now, Jimis remember, stills. everybody, to start, Jimis took a three-point lead, finishing that first round, 52-49. Even with a win by one, Ray would, which right now it's tied, would not necessarily... Level the score. So all Jimis has right. to do, even if you make missteps, Janya, is just keep pace once you've already got a three-point lead. Yep. I mean, trading baskets. And and that's what yep. he's managing to do here. Amazingly, despite the presence of a second one, oh, Jimis is in the lead. And and then wow. and then Ray misses his second puzzle. Jimis gets 49 at the last second, and he looks over and confirms that he does indeed win the second battle by one. And wow. Wow, Incredible. what a rush that was there, Donya. This was crazy. Uh, while we have a second, speaking of puzzles that I'm about to break down and see how these gods missed it, our daily question today is actually pretty simple. What's your favorite puzzle? It can be something from the chess.com puzzle battle database. Maybe it's a, um, a composition from, from a puzzle book. But we invite you to share it with the hashtag puzzle battle. At the end of the show today, Donya's going to choose his favorite of all the puzzles shared. And that person gets a three-month diamond membership. Not just wow. one, not just two, but three. 
I just they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but I think I might try to be objective. Hey, I, you, I don't know if that's entirely true. Actually, no. That my job is to put you in a position to be subjective and you know just make up whatever you want. <laughs> let me so, try to uh, close my shades. I can see my own light flickering. Um, let me close my shades. Maybe that'll help. Go for it. Yeah. Um, while you while you do that, go ahead and step away. I'm gonna review this puzzle that both guys got wrong. Uh, we've got. Uh, We've got a puzzle that, as Danya said, it's fascinating when you see two puzzle masters both misstep in the same way. Uh, in this position, after h5, the move is queen to e7. Both players played the move rook to c8. Um, and uh, I, I guess it, it's understandable, right? The move the move rook to c8, clearly the, the, the tactic is very simple. If the trade happens, white just wins the queen, right? So the computer doesn't disagree with that. But the issue with rook to c8 is that the queen can move to a square like b6, and there's no immediate follow-up. Black is actually protecting everything, the rook is defended, and white has actually made a big mistake removing the rook from the seventh rank, which is the key part of the tactic that works. So the correct move is the move, Donya, now that you're back with us, I clarified right. everyone, the, both players played the move rook to c8, which, so they both missed it, and they missed it in the same way. The move is queen And we can e7. see why, it was such a tempting move. Yeah, totally. Queen d7 is the move, and only ah. after rook f8 is the move rook to c8. So. Mm -hmm. Really a tough mm -hmm. one there, an understandable one for both players to go down swinging. This was the correct move. Now, the only other one that was missed was uh, by Jimis98, which is, I, I want to break down this puzzle as you look at the answer here, Donna. You can, you can see what Black, uh, what Black should have done. But it's fascinating that he was able to miss two, yet still finish one puzzle ahead of Ray here. So um, Ray only missed that last one, I think, because he was running out of time and trying to keep up. But... Your thoughts on right now, what we've seen is really just a faster player in GMS 9-8 in terms of his ability to solve these puzzles. Yeah, and we see the fact of the matter is if we recall that Jimis's average is less, so he's less of a perfectionist than Ray is. And right. that's both a blessing and a curse. Sometimes that results in disastrous runs. But here we can see Ray might be getting a little bit nervous. He might be a little bit just slower than usual. And Jim is taking those chances, and even though he might get one or two wrong, his runs might be quote unquote, you know, dirtier right. and less smooth. Um, and Magnus, if he's around, he's not liking that word smooth. Right. But you can see. Um, I, I don't know if anybody got the reference, but as no, it's true though. But it's important, as uh, my middle school basketball coach once said, you know, you don't want to look good and lose. You'd rather look bad and win. You know. Let's hope that he was saying that for the right reasons. But the point is, winning ugly is still a win, right? And and Jimis knows that if he keeps the speed, the one weakness Ray Robson might have is that perfectionist mindset. So let's see what the move should have been. Rook h8 is the right move. And it uh, looks like white actually just has to give up the queen for the rook, given that moving the queen would allow something like you just trade and win the rook. But how, by the way, how counterintuitive is this? The move Jim has played oh was the obvious move. Rook h1 check. Of course. Yeah, I give a check. Like, you drive the king out. Right? I mean, you assume. But the move is a, a retreating move by the rook. Not something you see every day, but is a, is a very, very simple, I guess, just win of a large amount of material. So... Uh, it's what makes these puzzles tough, and it's why we've invited all of you to share your favorite puzzle on social media again. If you missed it, use the hashtag Puzzle Battle. The best puzzle in the eyes of Daniel Naradisky wins a three-month diamond membership. I don't think either one of these guys are worried about their diamond status right now. They're worried about winning the whole thing, and uh, round Absolutely. three is going to begin here in just seconds. Well, yeah, Ray, Ray's got some climbing back to do. Um, yeah. Got to, got I to feel like Jim, Jimis is the Jimis is the Ryan Tannehill of this uh, <laughs> this battle. He might be the under, underdog, but he's putting his heart into it. Well, and uh, right now we've uh, we've got both players underway. the uh, The round is still set with Ray jumping out to five four. And uh, and here we go. Now ten to eight. This is the biggest lead Ray's had. Ray knows he needs to make a dent, right? But but the risk is you're going against your own style if you're Ray Robson by playing faster than you might normally be accustomed to. Although, again, at this point, I don't really think it's an issue just yet. I think he knows what he's doing here. And yesterday we saw him reach the mid-20s before the two-minute mark a couple times. Yeah, he'll have to repeat that. Um, and like you said, that might be just a tad faster than he's accustomed to. But, right. but he needs to start taking those chances because before you know it, you're on the eighth, ninth run, and you're down by, you know, seven or eight points. So you need to nip that in the bud as quickly as possible. We see uh, Omega in the chat saying, I was there, hashtag 54, never forget. I don't know that you got the memo, but 55 was reached, <laughs> buddy. So that's like 
That's like uh, <laughs> bragging about, you know, the, the high score that uh, nobody else is going to remember. But uh, anyway, I think, um, I think you know, it, 54 was Jimmis' best score to date. 55 reached by Ray. Either one is very impressive, of course. And, and look at Jimmis again. He's staying the course, catching up. Oof. Oh, right as I said that. Right as he said. It's incredible. Classic Jinx. It's, I think Rook takes G6 is the move. And Ray's struggling with it, too. Ray's on the same puzzle. There we go. And it's, oh, he did solve it. Yeah, but it took him, I, it, and again, we see the same so that, pattern, right, Jimmis? That's a debate, right? How much is the correct puzzle worth is a, is a good question, because Jimmis is, as you said, he's dirtier. He's missed one, but he's up by two. Yep. Oh, and right and as I said that, Ray takes the lead for the first time in the day. Right. This is where that cushion really allows Ray to take chances, and he's got to take those chances. Yeah, he has and to push see him. because he can afford to miss one and still be on equal <laughs> footing here. Takes that. Wow, that's a nice one. A little distraction tactic there. Wow, what a combo there with that. But the problem is it took him just a little bit too long. So again, he's he is he has a cleaner rush right now. He's mm -hmm. got 48 without getting one wrong, but but Jimis is at the same pace. Jimis is actually Incredible. a puzzle ahead of him. Incredible. And this one's and, just and Ray so can't difficult. solve this one. Jimis has already passed that puzzle. The move is bishop yep. to now it's Rook up and Bishop D2, right? Yep, he solves it. But again, took Ray a little bit longer. But Jimis misses the second puzzle. He's down but to two still, strikes. He's going to get 50. It's the battle of two approaches. It's incredible. Bishop G2, Ray's going to get 52. Bishop G2, Ray's going to get one two, more. But he needs this, though. He's down by four he, in the match. He needs oh, it. Oh, and Jimis strikes out. Unfortunately Ooh, for Ray, root. though, it's only one point overall that he gets. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, this is crazy stuff because when you're out puzzling your opponent in terms of, I guess you would say percentage, but still not making enough room in the overall match, what do you tell yourself right now, Danya? Well, he's got to choose choose his approach and and you know, he's you you can't lose hope. You've got to believe in Yep. You've got to believe in in your philosophy, and and so Ray, it's it's very easy. To get, I would get incredibly tilted and be like, "I'm solving all these right, you know? Why right. am I not? Why am I not getting points?" But you have to stay your course and believe that eventually Jim is going to have a run where he gets, you know, not one wrong but two wrong. Wow. So, okay, well, we'll see if uh, if uh, Robson takes Naroditsky's advice, stays the course, and doesn't get tilted, or if he pushes himself in a way that he regrets. We've got seven more rounds here in the Puzzle Battle World Chess Championship coming up. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
A premium membership at chess.com will help you improve your game with full access to a powerful set of learning tools. Unlimited tactics let you practice like a master with more than 50,000 puzzles to challenge you at every level. Our library of interactive chess lessons created by master coaches will enhance every aspect of your game. And after each game you play, the computer analysis feature will give you feedback on every move you played, turning every game into a chance to learn. And that's not all. Premium benefits also include unlimited tournaments, video lessons, the opening explorer, and much, much more. Upgrade now to take your game to the next level. And we are back with the Puzzle Battle World Chess Championship Finals between Grandmaster Ray Robson and Untitled Demetrius Latopoulos of Greece. With me, Grandmaster Daniel Naroditsky. We've got plenty of show ahead, of show ahead, so don't go anywhere. Uh, and uh, while you're here, you might as well download the Dr. Wolf Chess app. Get your virtual coach on. Uh, you can't get this T-shirt on unless you took it off of me, but that would violate the Twitch TOS. Don't violate terms of service of any website. I've learned that um, the hard way. And uh, anyway, <laughs> Dr. Wolf, there you go. Uh, Going to be pretty exciting. Danya's getting to know him real personal. We won't get into that. Uh, what we will get into real quick is the Pro Chess League schedule. Mr. Naroditsky, are you in the lineup this week for the California Unicorns? Yes, sir, I am. And we are intent on delivering revenge from okay. that travesty last week. Are you guaranteeing so. a victory? Are you, are you going I'd meta so, world, I'd meta have to consult piece? with Dr. I'd have to consult with my personal uh, secretary and agent and coach, Dr. Wolf. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go as far as guaranteeing it, but I'm going to hint at it. One thing I've learned is people like when you guarantee things, even if you're wrong. My kids love okay. it. Okay. I, I guarantee it. I call it daddy's <laughs> guarantee. No, I'm kidding. What I guarantee is we're going to learn something from the three puzzles that uh, Jim has got wrong. And again, the storyline overall, I think right now, in terms of why Jim has the overall match lead he does is his speed. Because you can see he only finished one behind, but he, he was able to see three more puzzles than Ray was. So again, it's dirtier right now, his approach, but it's effective. And uh, these three puzzles that he got wrong are something we're going to learn from regardless. Still, though, I'm, I'm curious where this match goes, and I'm, I can't wait to see the photo finish that I think is in store. So this one here, you called it right after Jim has missed it. You want to tell everybody what the answer is for White? Sure. There's a lot of tension going on near Black's King, obviously. The rook on g7 is protected twice and attacked twice. So what you want to do is actually capture on g6. And this has two effects. It obviously enforces an attack on the rook, but after Black takes the rook with his pawn, he can't take with the rook because the rook is pinned. You have this very nice move, queen h4, sliding the queen back. Those moves are hard to hard to see in the heat of the moment, and it's checkmate in two moves. Black can cover with the rook, then you take with either piece. And so the question is, was this hard to see because of the retreating move by the queen, or do you think that Jimis panicked on queen e3 check? Because the main line is actually rook takes. You have to allow this check, which, as we know, is very psychologically difficult to do. Uh, but after king h2, really nothing has changed. That's the point. Black is still totally busted on g7, and if you take it, there's still queen h4. So do you think it was queen e3, or he just missed rook takes g6? What's I think it was guess? queen e3. I, I, I think Jimmis did see rook takes g6. It's a very common theme, this opening up of files and, right. and sliding the queen back. So I think he saw the check, and as we've discussed several times, once you see a check, your, your animal brain immediately yeah. signals the, the fight or flight. Danger. Oh, no, 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 no. None da of that. Danger, Donya Robinson. Danger. All right. Exactly. The second one here <laughs> that was also missed from Jimmis was the move rook takes a6. Uh, sorry. I think rook takes a6 was actually played. The move is knight takes e3 first, and then bishop takes d4. Uh, and the point is the queen is overwhelmed. She's attacked right now in the open file, and if she takes, uh, black wins a rook. So after right, bishop takes d4, the move is takes a8. Black wins a pawn mm -hmm. for free, keeps the extra bishop, and ultimately goes on to win the endgame. So... So that was tough. Um, real quick, the third one that was missed, just going to show, is this move king f6 and again g4. This is this is one of those that is just super hard to hold against anybody. Somehow you got to calculate that you're going to win the king and pawn race versus the knight. If you did that, you're a better man than me. Big wow, shocker, newsflash. Was... Um, but okay, <laughs> Jimis, Jimis goes down swinging with three very difficult puzzles. Uh, unfortunately for Ray, though, he was only able to get to 52. So Robson still down by three. Overall, as you can see, four to one is the difference in the match. And uh, round four is starting right now. Wow. And Ray's got to trust. Like I said, he's got to trust his philosophy and trust his consistency and trust that eventually Jimis is going to have a sloppy run. So this is going to be very interesting to see. And they're off. Yep. To see the wizard. And uh-huh. 
the puzzle wizard of Oz. Of course. We should do a show like that where you sit there as like the puzzle wizard and I've got the little cone coned hat on. Yeah, coned hat on and um follow the follow the green board. I don't I don't know where this is going, but No, this is I think that that might be the best show of all time actually. Yeah, it could it be. Sounds <laughs> riveting. In the end turns out you're a fraud, <laughs> right? I mean that's they got to have a good twist ending. Um all right, but right now, the uh, the twist ending is is unnecessary because the drama we have just from just from them just solving puzzles correctly is already enough. I mean, this is all oh, that allowing rook takes d six and king e five. Oh, is that man. harder than oh, oh Ray. Ray gets the next oh, one wrong? Oh man! Oh my gosh, oh, Ray man. again! This is so uncharacteristic. He knows he has okay. to make a move. He's still okay. Again, it's one wrong and Ray's so consistent. He's still kind of leading, but now he's stumped on another one. Okay, it's a trade, okay. queen trade. Uh, now, now Jimis is stumped. Nope, Jimis solves it too. Here we have yeah. the opposite storyline. It's uh, Jimis 9-8, who's being a little cleaner, Ray's a puzzle ahead despite having missed one. Right. This well, is Ray may one. have embraced his role wow. here. He's got he's to keep it going. I'm just... I'm. I'm forgetting commentary here right now. I'm legit just nervous about the drama here. This is this is so exciting. I, I, you know, if I had to predict somebody putting the other person on a bit of tilt, it would have been Ray with Jimis. Um, Absolutely. Given what we saw yesterday in the 55, but right now I feel like, um, and there oh. you go. Right now it feels like it's Jimis who's put Ray on, on notice I... that. Oh man, too wrong. I'm I'm just I'm blown away right now. I'm shocked. Ray is, he, he's just, he's getting some tricky puzzles um, that he might not have seen. And yep, here it's an under that's promotion a very to a knight. Right there. Yep. Oh, wow. And this is, what, again, one of those, what a tough puzzle wow. for Ray to get there. He solves it. Jimis is stumped. And, and you see Jimis taking a gamble here. He's got to move. He's got to get one wrong. Get it out of his system. There we go. Wow. He still hasn't gotten, still hasn't gotten anything wrong. And he's on 45. Ray's got to speed this up. Ray's got to tie this one. He he cannot get, go down another four or five points. This is crazy. Well, I I'm got to be honest. I think right now he's already kept it close enough to feel a little bit okay, just because this has been such a bad run for him, honestly. Yeah, yeah. But still, Jim is going to hit fifty if he solves this one. Yep. Which he still and and Ray which... behind him. Ray's actually solved more puzzles, right? Um, but yeah, I, or the, yeah, ex exactly. And there wow. you go. They run out again, Ray shaking his head. He knows he's not playing his best, not on his best mm -hmm. rush right now, best run. And, uh, that, that style, right? The style of trying to be, trying to be as precise as possible. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say right now because he's not being that precise, right? He's, he's missing puzzles. He's missing early puzzles that, that he never misses. And that's understandable. And, and, but, but it's, it's very strange to see a Ray missing a puzzle before, you know, 45 or, or even 50. We're, we're so used to excellence from Ray. Wow. wow. Well, just, there you go. It's, a, it's a, with another two point victory with another two point victory, Jimis nine, eight has stretched the lead to five overall six to one total in the score. Ray's two missed puzzles are on the agenda to take a look at because these were the two that, that got in his head. Right now, we, if you look at the score there, when you can see that final row of green, you know, gives Ray credit that he, he's recovering from misses. Like, look at the space between missed puzzles, right, Donya? Ray's not tilting, necessarily. He's just not having his best day. Yeah, he's not. He's, 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 he's just a Zen master. He, he rarely misses. I don't think he's ever missed two in a row. I mean, he, I'm sure he has, but it's very rare. I mean, before, you know, like the 50th puzzle. Right. So he is maintaining his composure, but as we see even from his facial reactions, like you said, Danny, he's just not in great form right now. Right. And he's going to have to turn that around. And what we mean by that, everyone, again, the tilt that you can kind of measure and say, it's always a subjective term applied by a commentator, I guess, right? We're, we're, we're making guesses. But usually that means someone gets a couple wrong in a row or even two out of five, right? You're clearly missing puzzles based on kind of the emotional hangover of the, of the other one you missed, right? That's not happening to Ray by the separation of puzzles. But, but again, it, it's not changing that Jimis is leading. So this is the puzzle that he missed. The correct move is G5. And after King G4, H5, mm -hmm. followed by Queen H3. 
Um, I this one went so fast. I didn't see what he actually played here. I don't know if you did. I didn't either, but I'm I'm honestly, and I don't say this lightly, I'm willing to give people the benefit of the doubt. I'm surprised he missed this one because it's pretty straightforward. You send the king yeah. into g6 and then you checkmate it on h7. That's a theme I'm sure Ray's familiar with. Yep. Um, he might have been attracted by some rook f4. I mean, who knows? Right. Yeah, it's hard to I see don't know. what the other... It's Maybe hard... rook h5 here. Oh, maybe he played to... rook h5 hallucinating a mating net right the point is if right. king takes he thinks he has like queen h3 right but the point is i guess the king can just move and you don't have a well probably queen h4 because here oh maybe here yeah because h6 king g6 if, but even even queen h4 like doesn't win wow so but it's i think so, you're right king it must have been rook h5 because this is also a common theme you sack the rook you bring the king up and a lot of times there's a net here but here indeed Nothing but air you're grabbing, right? Nothing to squeeze. This, yep. The well, those second are the most one he moves. right here. After knight e5, king f4, um, the move is knight d3. Mm -hmm. The point is if king f3, rook f2 is mate, and if king g5, king g7, we have mate coming very soon with f6. Yeah, um, and rook g2 is another source of checkmate. He played the move f6 immediately, which is another theme. Uh, okay. But rook f1. That. And it doesn't work because... Probably rook f1, rook yeah. Rook f1. And the point is now you can just go back and you're guarding rook f2 mate. Mm -hmm. Wow. Another theme, you trap the king and it seems like the end is nigh. The end is not nigh. Thank you, Legolas. Let's bring back Aragorn. One more puzzle <laughs> that I did want to show because it's instructive is this one with rook c8. This is actually a very common theme where you sacrifice the queen and then under-promote to a knight. So if you're not familiar with that under-promotion tactic, uh, make sure you uh, plug into the matrix there and load that one up for future reference because that is a that is a very, very common and kind of well-known theme to under-promote. Oh, man. The uh, well-known themes better start coming to Ray so he can flex his Grandmaster experience because right now, Right now, it's uh, it's it's Jimmy's nine eighths match, and look at Ray singing now. He's gone back to the boy band moves. Maybe that's going to help all him right, loosen his words. All words. right, I can I can get behind that. Okay. He's, he's you know he's mellowing himself out a little bit. He's saying, okay, let me just cut, let me just listen to my jams here, or whatever he listens. Let me listen to some Johann Sebastian Bach. Although I don't think that's what he's listening to. That's what I'd be listening to before before a, a match like this. And the next match is underway. We'll get the score updated here in a moment. There we go. 11 to 10 right now for Jimmis. And here they go. And they're off. There we go. Right now we're uh, following a match in progress. We've got a score of 17 apiece. Yeah, they're neck and neck right now. Ray is back to scoring, you know, a good solid 23-24 in the first minute. So that's good to see. 25 now for Ray in the first minute. 26. 26. Wow. He's on his one of his best paces yet. Roughly 26 at the two-minute mark. 25 at the one at the at the two-minute mark is it's kind of already it's kind of already the potential 50 plus territory, right? Yep. Guys. Yeah, that sets the tone for sure. 20, 25 and above is, is a great start. I think that's where you draw the line and you say that's that's a really solid start. And look at the score now, everyone. It's 6-1, to one, Jimis, in terms of the match. But right now, Ray up by 2, trying to make it close. Now up by 3. Okay, this is, this is, uh, this is what you this need. Is you chance. need drama. We have never seen Jimis 9-8 really ever pushed. I mean, I, I, I can't even remember single single runs that he's lost yet. I, I expected to see it against Ray Robson, and I guess we in round three we had one, 52-51, but overall, uh, we haven't ever seen Jimis lose. It's crazy. Well, here, and he's gotten one wrong, and, and this is Ray's chance. He's got to put the pedal to the metal here, and he needs he needs for Jimis to encounter puzzles he hasn't seen before yep. in the 40s. He's but pushing we see himself. Ray, Ray's see doing it. just that. Ray is Ray is not only ahead in pace, but better in terms of percentage. But he's got to keep up the pace now. I guess wins the bishop. It, as long as he keeps getting them right, he's probably in good territory at this point. Given the puzzles are also getting harder for Jimmis. Mm -hmm. This one's very difficult. You just got to move the rook to the right square. But he gets it. Wow! And he gets another one. That was that was ridiculous. 
This is another another ridiculous. I don't know. Do you take on G7 here? Do you go Bishop F6? I oh man, know. he's stumped. And neither does Ray. He's got to gamble. Oh, he's got to he gamble. But he gets it wrong, and he's opened the but door. But that's okay. But that's okay because now he's going to get two or three more. Well, maybe, right? But oh, Jim is eight is right there. But he had to gamble. Oh, I know it's easy Jim to say, but he had to gamble. So he gets he's on forty nine, but with two strikes, on, that's got to make him nervous. One. Oh, dude. Oh, man. What in the world? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, that is so frustrating that was if you're an Ray. Epic finale. Oh, Look at this. So Look at the final moment here, everybody. We have both players on camera. They're on the same position. It was, this was literally the exact same puzzle rush for both. I mean, they both got 51 correct, they both got two strikes. They were on their, they were on their, um, their last puzzle together. And that's why this uh, match prediction was basically a coin flip. Let's remind everybody. I mean, that's kind of how we arrived at this. And yes, Ray Robson, according to a, you know, very brand new way that we're trying to make predictions and, and add a little bit of data uh, to these, uh, to these events, uh, Ray considered a slight favorite, but, but the truth is, I, I don't know that anybody really knows at this point. And, and, uh, and wow. <laughs> This is like Zeus against Poseidon. I mean, and Jimish is literally Poseidon. I mean, he's Greek. So, wow. And, and it's anybody's game. <laughs> I've pulled up point. both uh, of the first puzzles that each each side got wrong. Uh, we see there the, the amount of con the amount of consistency these two players are showing rounds in the fifties together. And again, everybody, they just had the exact. Oh, uh, again, not the exact same because they missed different ones. Donya, and I'm gonna show them. But, but overall, they mm -hmm. finished in the exact same spot. So, this was Jimis nine eights missed puzzle. Um, honestly, I I don't I don't know what he didn't do because queen to b one is like kind of the only move here. Right, but then after knight c one, that's where the trickiness begins. Ah, I think you have to realize uh, is the move knight takes c one. Yes. Okay, so you have to realize not to go for queen takes a1 or queen takes c1 because the rook on h8 is hanging and the knight on e2 is hanging. So in order to secure material gains, you have to take on c1 with the knight. I, I remember now, he took a1. He took a1, right, which is very understandable. You eliminate right. the attacker of h8, but now white just takes on e2 and he's got massive compensation for okay. the exchange. Okay, so the move has to be knight takes c1. You have to laugh in the face of danger here because you can bring the knight right back to e2 and then mate the king on g1. Wow, what a tactic. Difficult. What a tactic. What a puzzle. Okay. So fascinating to see these guys comprehend and then uh, get these solved so quickly. But in this case, in this case, not. But the, the puzzle that Ray got wrong, and I, I would argue this was kind of the turning point because it wasn't just that he got this wrong, Danya, is I'm pretty sure this one cost him like 15 seconds, right? This one was, yep. this one was he, rough. He was really trying to figure it out and couldn't. And I couldn't figure it out either, actually. Not that that means anything. I mean, Ray is miles and miles ahead of me. But I think <laughs> it might be Rook takes G7. So, so Rook takes G7 is what Ray played, and that was the first oh. move that was correct. The, the mistake he made was here. He played the second Rook takes G7. Which I can also understand. He's trying to put a bishop on f6, and he's yep. trying to clear the way. But I think you have to play the calm queen h6. Is that yep. correct? Indeed, you're correct. Wow. Queen h6 is the winning move. The point is now bishop f6 and knight g5 are both threats. That's what's tough. For it's Black. the combination of the calm move and the tactical move. Yep. Because once you start with the tactical move, you want to keep sacrificing. But then you have to switch gears instantly. That's just so crazy. Yeah, I mean, I would have... I would not have solved that at all. And it also looks like rook takes g7 is winning because you're, you're thinking about knight takes. And then and then you're thinking queen h6 or bishop f6. And it's basically the same puzzle because you can't stop mate. And by the way, if knight takes, that, that's actually true. The issue is that king takes is the move. And then white mm -hmm. doesn't have anything more than a draw. Right. That I mean, it's just so hard to comprehend that black can do this and white has nothing more than a check and, a, and kind of a, a perpetual, that there's nothing more. The knight on e8 serves a very important defensive purpose. It guards wow. the f6 and g7 squares, and that's why you want to keep the knight there rather than have a take on g7. But so hard to see um, when you're calculating frantically. And and I think Ray's got to adjust his strategy a little bit. It, when he encounters these, it's easy for me to say, but but he's got to take no more than 5 to 10 seconds. Yep. And, and if he doesn't see it, get it wrong. Take a gamble. Yep. Well, and uh, again, this is... It's obvious, as you said, it's easier said than done. Neither one of us is judging. Don't worry, everybody. This is a judgment-free zone. And uh, we hope that uh, I mean, 
all the rest of you feel the same way. We've got about 6,000 of you viewing across uh, different platforms here, so thank you for being with us. And uh, the Puzzle Battle World Chess Championship Finals, the drama is real. I would, I would definitely stick around because right now we might have our first ever non-title player winning a significant cash prize on chess.com. Maybe, maybe a foreshadowing of things to come for, for non-title players in terms of opportunities and, and events. This is, this is a puzzle battle specialist, and they're a pu puzzle-solving <laughs> monster from Greece. I mean, I'm not going to make up anything more than that. Like, he wasn't bred in captivity. As far as I know, he did not suffer a childhood trauma. But he still turned out to be a puzzle superhero. Incredible. And Usually I think you need on one of those two run. things. Usually you need to be bred in captivity or, or have a childhood trauma to become a superhero, I've learned. <laughs> wow. Just but, incredible. And, and they're going neck and neck right now. Yep. The next one is already underway. We've got uh, 11 to 11. And, and uh, here um, they go, 21 20. These guys, as, are going, uh, these guys are going so fast. Yeah, as basketball announcer uh, Ralph Waller says, seat belts fastened and seat belts mandatory. This is going to be down to the wire. Wow. So another neck and neck contest here, 27 to 27 right now. Twenty-nine to thirty. Thirty to thirty. Ah, oh. man, this is a tricky one from Ray. He's got to take it and yeah. and then allow a check again. One of those. We're almost at the the officially in the second half of this, right? So Ray being down by five. This is not nearly the blowout we've seen in other matches for either of these guys, but but amongst these two, it's significant enough. Ray has got to make a move sooner rather than later. He's up mm -hmm. by three. Um, and he needs it to stay this way if he's gonna if he's gonna make this thing closer. And he misses his first puzzle. He misses one, and he gets he's he's. I mean, these are very tricky. Like there was a one oh another open ended one with a lot of tempting moves, and and it, he seems to be getting nervous in those cases. Wow, this is uh, I'm just blown away right now by the consistency of Jimis nine eight, of the uh, the struggles of Ray Robson. Yeah, he is missing puzzles before 40, and somehow Jimis is, is keeping a clean slate now. The rules have reversed here. Yeah, and right now he's up by a puzzle, up by two puzzles. No, we're now we're tied. 25 seconds left. 47 apiece. We are deadlocked. Wow, and that's a stalemate. One we have to m maneuver the rook around, and Ray sees it, but he's not going to make a move on this one. He's not going to do more than tie here. I'm afraid. 51 to 49. Ray has got to keep the lead. Oh, Jimis oh, gets nope, 51. Only one. And Ray. And, oh, he got Jimis it. ties it at the last second. It. Oh, my gosh. Well, was it, was it Jimis who tied it or was it Ray? Because I thought Ray was the one who tied it at the last second. But maybe I was. I mean, they were, they were going so fast. God, Jimis is a, is a, is a freak right now. The guy yeah, is, is just. I mean, I know the Greek freak nickname is taken, right? I don't think Giannis would mind. I don't think Giannis <laughs> would mind if we if we stole it for chess, right? I'm you know, Incredible. I'm sure that uh, you know, I'm sure that a lot of Pulos is a Bucks fan, given that you know he's got a uh, a fellow man from Greece playing in the NBA. So maybe Giannis is okay with it. Uh, but uh, seriously, Demetrius Lotopoulos is flexing um, like like no other right now. I'm blown away. He maintains a five-point lead as we head here into the back half officially. The Puzzle Battle World Chess Championship continues in just a few moments.
And here we are right back at it. The Puzzle Battle World Chess Championship continues. Remind you all of where we stand. It's Ray Robson versus Demetrius Latopoulos. It is six to one right now for the underdog, I guess, in most people's eyes, but, but maybe never again after this event, to be completely honest. He's up by five with four rounds to go. It's been close, and there's been moments where Ray might have been up two or three puzzles as they entered into those late 40s, uh, Danya, but uh, Demetrius has held on to his credit and maintains a five-point lead. Yeah, Demetrius has performed exceptionally. Uh, Ray has been dogged by by some of these puzzles that he uncharacteristically has gotten yep. wrong. And, and, and the fascinating thing about this is it might come down to a couple of puzzles that one saw and the other doesn't, or, or one solved and the other didn't. So yep. all of the intrigue is still ahead. Five points can be overcome in a single puzzle, and that's sure. not out of the realm of the possible. Even with someone like Demetrius, he encounters a couple puzzles that he doesn't do well on. Ray could score 55, 56. We've seen that before. That could yep. happen again. No, and neither one of them has even put up their best rushes yet. So I think the drama is still ahead. But speaking of multiple puzzles, we've had a lot of them shared with our daily question. Donya, I'm going to tease you because uh, we've got 11 submissions Please. so far. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll get more. So again, if you submit your favorite chess puzzle and by a random act of Danya, as we'll call it from now <laughs> on, a rad, a rad. random act of Danya will award a three-month diamond membership to the favorite puzzle submitted on Twitter. You can reply to the official chess.com account or just use the hashtag puzzle battle and, and uh, submit your puzzle and uh, give, us, give us your favorito and enjoy that tasty snack. As we said, the Puzzle Battle World Championship now brought to you by uh, Dr. Wolf. If you were wondering what Abe Lincoln looks like, jacked up on steroids, that's Dr. <laughs> Wolf. In, in a good way, not, not, not roids. He's not roided up. He is not juicing. He's, he's legit, right? He's all, all natty, all natural. Um, so, uh, but anyway, there you go. All right, the next, the next round should be beginning here in just moments. We are ready to see yeah, what happens off. next between... Ray Robson and Demetrius Latopoulos. It uh, looks like they are off. Next top battle brings me to the uh, the matchup where we have right now a six to five lead for Ray Robson, and uh, they are they are still just rolling through. Crazy. And let's see what happens in this one. As you said, Ray's got to make go. a move. And his margin of error is getting lower and lower as each puzzle run, uh, as each battle concludes. All right, 20 to 17. But as we said, we know that Ray has to make a move. He's down by five. That's the scoreboard. If you're just joining us, the Grandmaster is, uh, is the underdog here mm -hmm. against the, uh, the Greek. The Greek beast, I'm going to call him. Not the Greek freak. We're going to go with the, the Greek, Greek beast. beast. We'll, we'll let Giannis keep his nickname there in Milwaukee. Yeah, Giannis is playing pretty decently. Rumor has it. So Rumor has it. We'll, we'll allow it. All right, 28 to 26, 29 to 20, no, 30 to 26 right now. Ray Robson in the lead. But he's got he's got to put the gas pedal. This is where he's gotten problems wrong uncharacteristically. He's yep. like mid-late 30s. Here's where he's got to be completely clean. I was just reminded by a staff member that Robert called him the Greek gift. That's right. And he certainly is a gift, gift to the puzzle solving community. And given the uh, direct reference to a nice bishop takes h7 Trojan horse sacrifice. Okay, the Greek gift it is. The Greek gift. I like it. Because you're more, right. That... It will no longer be debated. The Greek gift. And again, Jim is just picks up the pace yep. uh, in these late 30s. It's incredible. He's solving them faster than Ray is, which to me is mind-boggling. Yep, and they're tied yet again. I mean, look at these end games, the speed Jim with which he's solving these end games. And, and, and then some right now. Now, this is where Ray can, if he cannot lose his cool, this is where Ray can start to separate. This is where it's mm -hmm. supposed to be his opportunity as the stronger player. And right now, Jim is missing Jim is his going wrong. Puzzle. And Ray gets another very tough one, but I don't even know why that final position is winning for what. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, I don't know either. Oh, Mike, that was a beautiful puzzle. That was a queen sack out of the blue, clear blue sky. Crazy stuff, although Ray has also missed one. Oh, and oh, Ray misses his one. second. Oh, and that one with King G1. Dude, I remember that from yesterday. 
Oh my god, 50. Okay, now he needs to get one or two more here. And he can really slice into this lead. He can, he can make lead. a dent. If he can maintain at least two, right? Get it down to three if you're He's Robson. He's got to get this one, though. He's, He's got only out of one. Oh, and, King G2. and once again. Oh, once again. man. King G2 in that final position. He's got to see that. Oh, my God. The last position was the one that Ray misses. I'm wow. gonna I'm gonna open it so that we oh. have it and we can look at it because like you said he's got to see it. Although as you say that I'm like, I mean let's let's take it easy on it. That's like a pretty yeah. Let's take it easy. That's I a know. Pretty no. rough puzzle to get. Although you are right that I think I think did Demetrius solve it or Demetrius didn't even reach that one. No, I don't think he, he reached was one that one. Puzzle behind. Well, let's let's jump right to that last puzzle then, since like you said it's it's pretty pretty rough. So the move is F3. Mm -hmm. And after queen takes h4, rook takes f3, you have to find king g2? You just, I think, so. is that the move? Yeah. That is the move. That wow. is the move. And it's the only winning move. And uh, you just keep the possibility to discover check, but you prepare to defend the queen with your king. And then you're going to end up in exchange. Oh, my God. Mind-blowing, dude. I mean, you want to play queen e7, but that loses to rook f7 with a discover check. Right, you want to do a million, you want to take the bishop, just you, you want take, to take it out, bishop, but that but then just the leads to an equal endgame. Probably actually better for black, right? And then if yeah. you play rook g2, you get mated. You get mated. Yep. King to and g2. And if you move your queen to like e1, you also get mated. Or or you just, yeah, rook e3. Wow. What's funny is obviously we're, you know, our algorithm's gotten tougher. We've added a lot of puzzles to the database. But this is going to be one that they don't forget, that Ray doesn't forget, right? Because it's oh, unique yeah. enough that if you get it again randomly if you somehow get it again like this but it's one of those tough puzzles where i saw amon and uh, robert commentating last week in one of the matches i missed and there was a puzzle very similar where you felt like almost no way you get that right the first time around and mm -hmm. then once you've seen it you get it right the next time right you understand the mechanism and and when your time is ticking down there's nothing like that feeling of panic and that hot just feeling in your throat that time's about to run out you absolutely panic and you lose your sense of calm and objectivity and it happens even with ray yep wow 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 well that was the uh that was the, maybe maybe the toughest puzzle and if he ultimately does not become the first puzzle battle world champion these types of positions will be the ones that haunt him a couple others right. that happened um ray's ray's first puzzle he missed though was actually this one here um i actually don't know what the answer to this one was what what is the answer well let's see um there's some discovered action going on here i wait a minute isn't the queen just hanging yeah there's no way this was the is it just knight takes f2 yeah that i mean that's what the best move is right but i actually it took me a while to see that the queen is saying it might be one of those where you're looking for mate but there's a queen hanging <laughs> crazy to me that and that's hard to be given that kind of random in the middle of it now this is this is the one that jimis missed i believe i think this was jimis's first miss mm-hmm um, I didn't catch this one either. Ray missed. I I know Ray missed this one either. He's after Bishop H six C two check. I'm pretty sure Ray went King A one, which is very intuitive. You want to tuck the king away, but I suppose you don't have to give away the rook. You can take the pawn. I think. That's that's right. That's the move. And if Queen F two check, you can cover with the rook. Wow, Rook D two. <laughs> And there's a mate threat on g7. Black's going to end up losing his queen. But if the Crazy. king had gone to a1, isn't black still mated? What's the idea? Well, I guess, I guess black... after takes, takes. And then the move is, oh, you can just play rook g8. Yeah. So you can't there's afford not to give up the rook. Power. So that's right, why there's... Ray was wrong. Mm -hmm. he, he, thought he, he thought the mate was inevitable. Which is completely understandable when you come to think about it, because you, you think, okay, I just got to escape the checks. But in reality, the attack isn't as strong as it looks. Wow. Incredible. Absolutely crazy. Let's remind everybody of what that means for the scoreboard. Ray did make a dent, right? And he is now within four. But but remember, there's only three battles left. So, so we're either going to get literal photo finish drama here with Ray making a comeback. Um... Or, um, or we're, you know, we're a bad round from Ray away from Jimis almost closing it up. And that's, you know, that's crazy to think, right? But, but, but given how accurate these guys have been, um, it's that, uh, 
it's really that first round that's coming back to haunt Ray, where he lost by three, 52 to yeah, 49. That set the tone, and Ray's still jamming out. He doesn't seem concerned. He's he's listening to his Beatles or whatever he's listening to, and uh, he's he seems to be confident. But then again, you never know what's actually going on inside one's head. Shout out to Diamond member Simon One says I'm having so much fun, Danny, with lots of exclamation points. Don't yell at me. Don't eat me. But I hear you. <laughs> awesome stuff. Um, we've had uh, yeah, a off. lot of chatters wherever, wherever you're tuning in from, we've got more than 6,000 of you, about 6,500 tuning in for this drama. It could be crazy down the stretch. And, uh, I think the next battle round eight is, is, is actually just now underway. It is. I'm watching from a Chili's. <laughs> Not sure about you, Danny. <laughs> to continue our inside joke from yesterday. Yeah, the uh, the Chili's references were real yesterday. We found out there are no Chili's in Greece, so we we will not be paying Jimmis in gift cards. That would be wasted. Uh, but there is a Chili's in um, Athens. Oh, Jimmy's Whoa. going wrong. Early misses. This is what Ray needs. If Jimmis is going to open the door, it's with early mistakes like that. Yep, it that that is a very early mistake. And Ray Ray's going clean so far. He's going clean, but I think now he needs to capitalize on that opportunity, right? He does. Keep he the does. speed. Queen C3. Yeah, he's going fast. 25 in a minute. That's a good score. Wow. A diamond member, JS1957, says he's having Pringles potato chips. What kind? Obviously, I'm curious. Original, sour it's cream. It's got to be onion, sour Nacho, cream. Nacho, pizza. I mean, come on. You can't just say Pringles. I, I hate original flavors. I feel like like flavored chips are just so much better right. than, than originals. Oh, Ray gets one wrong. Ray gets one wrong, and he opens oh, the door man. right back open, right back up. Shut oh, the front man. door. Apparently Another not going to happen. Another miss in the early 30s. Dude, they're, they're on the same exact position right now. They are. This is going to be down in Wiley's general. Same exact back to back, both takes. on 35. I think Ray's mouse was actually a – yeah, he's a – He's a teeny bit faster right now than Jimmis, but maybe I'm wrong. Nope, maybe I'm wrong. I, I, wow, it, Knight takes G4. That was a counterintuitive it's one. It's all happening so fast. Queen G8, this is a common one. I've seen that one before. Ray gets it fast, but Jim is keeping pace with him. Something tells me... Uh, so, oh, oh, Ray shakes his head. No. Oh, man. He needs to... Now, Queen H1, Queen H1, and Queen H... No. This is another difficult one. What is this I, one? Is it Queen know. H7? And he's on a third it, strike. Or is it F3? Okay, now, now, now Jimmis is on it. Jimmis is stumped too. Oh, wow. it's just, it's the simple solution, right? Oh, like, Jimmis gets it wrong. This didn't. is a chance. That's this is huge. A chance for I'm going to open it up to look at. This is a chance for Ray right here. He needs to make a push to 50. But Jimmis, Jimmis going really fast. Jimmis is catching up. Both on two strikes. Queen G4. Wow, Queen G4 what a move. Queen F8, Wins you win a piece. piece. He's oh, and Jimmy goes Jimis. down. Oh, this is Ray's, Ray's chance. Get one. This You've is got a to chance. get to 50. You have got he to gets get to 48. 50. He needs one more. He needs one more. One more, and it's a, ma and it's a tight go. match with two oh, to go. Oh, man. 49. Oh, and he gets Believe it wrong. This, he gets it wrong. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. King E2 Holy in that final position. Wins a bishop. Batman. Still, still, that was three I don't even know which ones to look up. at. I've pulled up a few. We'll try our best to learn, but together we are all happy. Don't we all feel good right now? <laughs> I didn't know what to say. That was, that was incredible. Crazy. He just got, he just took a huge chunk out of the lead. Now it's only one point. This is going to be not just a photo Dude. finish. This is going to be epic. And now the question is, will we see Jimis rattled for the first time? He still has a lead and it's one. He does. He still has a lead, and it's one, but but he's showing some nerves. Let's show that puzzle that Jimmis missed, because as you said, it was so... If you're just joining two. us, everyone, the first round where Jimmis won 52-49, we had uncharacteristic uh, missteps by Robson. This was the first time we've seen Jimmis miss a puzzle before, I think, even 25, let alone before 20. Um, and this position, the answer is very simple. It's bishop h3 check, and then... Queen to E1. I'm not sure what he missed. I, I think he played Bishop B5, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Just gave the instinctual check. It, they both, and that's they the both danger. Look good, but Bishop you B5 see a check. Just doesn't do anything after Bishop D3. Mm -hmm. Or King G2. Yeah, it's just it's just a shot in, into the empty air. So, wow. 
and now, that set the tone. That but, rattled but, but him. But to his credit, it was still tied, and he came back, and and then we right. got all the way to this one here. This was Ray's miss. I think yeah. Ray played King H7, yep. blundering Knight G5. Knight G5, and the point allows... is that after, after Knight G5 trade, White gets to come in and protect mate. That's the point, everybody. Yeah, King H8 would have sidestepped. King H8, and the there's just no way to stop mate. checks. Right. What a dirty so, dog. What a dirty man. dog. Who let the dogs out? That puzzle. Wow. It's just like that tiny detail. You've the correct see. answer was Bahaman, but okay. Um, Oh, oh that, I was supposed to. I was supposed to get one of your references. Man. I didn't realize that. <laughs> but this, okay, this was the one that if you want to talk differences, right? The difference in the match, if you want to go head on, you know, head to head, is Ray got this one right, and Demetrius got this one wrong. So, right. what and is it both... about this position that you think stumped a uh, lot of Pulos right. here? It's the fact that it's the proximity to checkmate. You're looking for checkmate because you're seeing all these patterns, like queen h1 check, right? A very tempting move, but it allows queen f3. You look at f3 check, and, and the okay, solution okay, wait, is actually not... Which move allows king f3? Uh, queen h1 check allows queen f3, uh -huh, guarding okay. against queen takes d5 mate. So you're Got looking it. for mate, and the solution is actually just to win a lot of material. You play queen h7 check, king d4, and queen d3 check. And it's very, very hard to understand that, okay, you're not looking for mate, and then queen takes e5, actually, after king d6. That's another very important detail. This is crazy. crazy. This is crazy. So you have to switch your brain from looking for mate to looking for ways to win material. And that is one of the hardest things to do in general in chess, yep. not just in, in puzzle battle. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. Well, let's remind everybody of the scoreboard and where we stand and let you know we've had a lot of submissions for our daily question. Apparently, you guys want that three-month diamond membership. And... Uh, so keep it up. We're, we're, we're sifting through them, the staff behind the scenes, trying to choose, but we haven't chosen yet. So if you want a three-month diamond membership, your last chance to submit using the hashtag Puzzle Battle, and uh, your, your position may be chosen. But with that run by Ray, he's mm -hmm. only down by one with two rounds to go. We are set up for a photo finish of the purest Photo finish. Times. Round nine is beginning any any moment now um we see a lot of people playing puzzle battle themselves like i can't just watch this on the sidelines but uh no. you can go over to uh chess.com slash puzzle slash battle and they are off here ray out to a very very quick lead uh, i guarantee you the nerves are playing a role here uh, they are both very very calm and they manage to keep their composure but i i guarantee you and their, their hearts are fluttering right now yeah. their hands are shaking this is like a, a speed chess championship coming down to the final bullet games here. This is mm -hmm. solve or go Going home right now. Difficult one here. Okay, Ray gets it, but that was a little tricky one for for so such an early puzzle. Okay, wins a piece. They're going neck and neck so far. Jim is maybe like half a problem ahead. Okay. All right. It's a queen trap from Ray. But a lot of Pulos, I, I asked a question whether nerves would get to him now that Ray applied some pressure. Not yet. He seems he's going very fast. He's gotten, he's gotten the, the 25. Ray is a little bit behind, but they're both still clean. So it's going to come down to the 40 pluses, I think, in, in this one. I predict a clean run for a long time here. Okay. Look at this. Almost deadlocked at 30. Yep. A lot of Pulos a little bit ahead. Yeah, but Ray gets the 31st one. And okay, this one's. Aha, uh -huh, he just went a piece. Nicely done by Ray. Now, Knight F3 here. Okay, there we go. A lot of Pulos slightly He's ahead. He's keeping that, that two point lead. Rook D5. Now, He's now got to find. Oh, Knight we're, D5. Wow. We're tied at 34. <clears throat> 35. All right, this to is 34. a tricky one. There. This is a tricky one. Oh, and he gets it wrong. Oh, okay. Jim is, but, but Ray stumped. Ray's got to move. He's Ray's got to move too, because this He's is one of those move. moments where a lot of oh, <clears throat> oh, he blunders. Bishop takes H five. The problem for oh, Ray man. is not even that he got it wrong; it's that he took he even took longer long. than a lot he of people did. He had to decide either move or ah, man. They both okay. Missed. Now he's got. Is it the uh, same puzzle they missed? No, it's not. I don't think it is. I think it's a different one. And no, Ray is, he's going way too slowly here. But Jim is stumped. Jimis okay, that allows stumped. Ray. They're both dead locked at 40. 41 now. Jimis is yeah, ahead. Yeah, but now Jimis is going really fast. And Ray stumped again on the same one that stumped Jimis. 
This Ray's is it. This might be Jimmis' opportunity one. to clinch it. If yep, Ray doesn't but keep Ray, this no, thing Ray's going close. fast. Jimmis is up. He gets another Dude, one wrong. He gets wrong. a second strike. He gets another one wrong. Okay, now Ray's got to solve this one fast, which he does. He wins a piece. Now they're deadlocked. Deadlock. I love that people can't see you on camera, but I can. You are freaking out right now. <laughs> I, this is so exciting. I am. This is this is exactly what, what why I play chat. I mean, oh, Jimmy's gets oh, forty seven. Jimmy's up by two with only seven oh seconds. Oh, 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 but he's out. He gets he's one out. Wrong. He gets one wrong. Okay, now Ray's got to tie it. Ray's got to tie it. Forty six. Oh, Forty seven. No, he's not going to do he it. He's out. not going to do it. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh wow. Holy moly. Oh, that could man. ultimately be. That could ultimately prove to be the the rush that wins Lada Pulos the championship. I mean, to be well, honest, right? It's a two-point lead, right? He, he, he stretches his lead back from one to two overall. Ray goes down swinging, running out of time. And, you know, I think... Wow. I think the most critical one, I've, I've, I've got it pulled up here, is... Is it this one here that Ray missed? Yeah, it was. I mean, honestly, if we were, I, I pulled them all up as they got them wrong, and, and they're going very fast. So forgive us, everyone, doing our best here. But mm -hmm. this puzzle right here and Ray not seeing it might be the reason why he doesn't win the championship today. Because it's not just that he got this wrong, Danya, it's that he took almost 15 seconds on this puzzle. He did, and he correctly identified the knight. He played the first move correctly, knight c4, rook, whatever, rook c2. But then you have to look at the knight on c7, and I think you have to just trap it with rook c8. That's Instead, right. Ray made a very logical move, knight h5, trying to uh, slice off the queen's defense of the knight, but it just blunders bishop takes h5. And because of the pin, black cannot even recapture. So this was pure nerves. Rook c8 is a move that Ray's going to see 10 times out of 10 on a normal garden variety day in a normal garden variety rush. This is no garden variety rush, however. This is this is nerve. So you think he just kind of lost his lost his composure, getting a little frustrated that he didn't see it. Because the thing about nine h five is there's I feel like there's no way he didn't see bishop takes h five. But it was one of those like I have to make a move. I have to force myself to get it wrong because he probably knew he was taking too much time on it. Yeah, and Ray, it, this is where his just philosophy. He's he's not able to do that, and and that's a good that served him well. His his incredible consistency, but here specifically. He had to do, you know, do one thing or the other thing, and and uh, he took too long, and then he had to play catch up. For anybody that missed it, we interviewed Ray Robson yesterday after he moved on from the semifinal, defeating the young Christopher Yu, and, and and Ray shared that he knows it's an issue. He knows he wants to get everyone right, and some people have that inner scientist in them, right, where they refuse, they refuse to stop tinkering. They know they 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 want to be a perfectionist, right, and it's understandable, right, but in a situation like this playing the odds of getting one wrong in five seconds versus killing yourself for 15 seconds. I would argue, even if you got it right, you might want to take back those 10 seconds. Right. And that's kind of the issue is that you, you, at some point you got to push yourself. Cause if you do the math, you're going to get puzzles you can solve, right? You're going to, you're going to get puzzles you can solve if you can just force yourself to go. But all right, we got more ahead here. The final round Ray rocks and trails by two. We have one more puzzle rush to decide who will become the first ever Puzzle Battles World Chess Champion. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
And it's the moment many fans have been waiting for. We appreciate all of the submissions on social media. Uh, pretty, pretty great engagement, honestly, between yesterday's question, kind of centered around personalized virtual coaching, the Dr. Wolf app. Today, we asked you to submit your favorite puzzles, and Danya Naraditsky has spoken. Um, and uh, we have a winning puzzle. I had never seen this puzzle before. I I've seen ideas like it, but I've never seen this one. So I'm as excited as everyone else to have you take us through it. Likewise, um, this is a, a beautiful puzzle. It features not just one under promotion, but as we'll see many, and it's it's just a stunningly beautiful puzzle. So it starts with the move H7. It okay. seems innocuous enough. Now the problem arises after G takes H2. And if you just make a queen here, then- By the way, I just have to show G that I love that yeah. even our own engine, because of the lack of foreshadowing, considering best moves, like doesn't get it right away. It keeps going back to equal as you go through it. So G takes, and then and then go ahead. Right. If you make a queen, black plays G3, and there's actually no way to stop stalemate. That's, it, in my eyes, a very, very nice theme. You have so many pieces, but they're not good for anything. So what do you do? You actually make a knight. And it seems to have the same problem. After G3, how do you stop stalemate? Well, what you do is you sacrifice the knight. Knight G6. It's the only way to up. give black a move. That's the key. It, only way. And after F takes G6, we have a couple of moves. F7, G5. Now, same problem. If we make a queen, there's G4, so we make another knight. And again, there's no... <laughs> it's the same thing. There's no craziness mm -hmm. here. There's no random moves. You can almost You can give lose. the queen up, but, but black's going to give up all his pawns right. anyway. So you got to get another knight. You got to buy yourself more time. And after G4, how do you buy yourself more time? By doing the same thing, knight E6. Now you buy yourself another couple of moves. D takes E6. Where are we going with this? We keep encountering the same problem. D7, E5. Same thing. We can't make a queen. So we have to make another knight. Yeah, I, hey, my Third new uh, my new uh, scalp healthy shampoo teaches me how to rinse and repeat. So I'm on I'm on track now. There we go. And now knight c6. And now finally, black is left with a pawn that's very far back. And after c6, c7, b4, we make another knight. And this knight has just enough time to travel and deliver the crushing blow to black's king through f5 and g3. What a puzzle! What, what a puzzle! A puzzle. Again, we'll, uh, we'll instant replay that for you with h7, g takes, h8 knight, and then real quick, again, rinse and repeat. Uh, oops, no, get a knight, get a knight. <laughs> once again, get a knight. And once again. Sack the knight, and finally, this one does the trick. All right, that was at VK Moyes on Twitter. You get yourself a three-month diamond membership. According to Mr. Daniel Naradisky, congratulations. Thank you for all the submissions. The puzzles are real. The puzzle battle is real because we have drama. It comes down to this round 10 with a two-point lead for the untitled player. We see a lot of titled players showing up to give their support to the man known as Jim's 98, Georg Meyer, hanging out with us on chat. Uh, it's, uh, I think, been for a lot of people, for those who didn't read the great profile by Maxime vachet uh great interview from Peter Dockers. Maxime has taken notice. Obviously, Maxime was outed in, in the event by Jimis98. So uh, this guy has, has put the world on notice. You can be a puzzle-solving specialist and even outplay some of the strongest chess players in the world in the process. But it's not over yet. Ray Robson has one round to level the footing, and he, it's been very close. It's been very close, and uh, we're going to find out if he's got it in him to come back this and give us moment. drama. This is the moment we've all been waiting for, Danny. I'm on the edge. Of, I'm literally on the edge of my seat. Literally right on the edge of my seat. I'm so nervous. Like They're I want off. drama. They're I off. want Ray to tie it because I want sudden death Me dodgeball. Too. You know. And they're off. And, and here we uh, go. And here we go. They are off. Six they to four. Are off. Seven to six, eight to six. I'm just gonna be Captain Obvious. Eight to seven, nine to seven. <laughs> nine to Here nine. All right, ten to ten. The, oh first one got, the first one to get one wrong is going to be paying the price here. Yeah, the first one, the emotional price you'll pay. The Absolutely. distraction you'll pay. Oh man, here we go. I've never seen Ray's eyes move so little, be so focused. Both guys just they you are. see. You can see Jim his eyes darting over there, looking at Ray going a little faster than him. Like, what's the score? This is the anti-Christopher oh, U approach. Man. Maybe he should have put a paper. Maybe piece he should have put a paper, paper right. so he wouldn't be distracted. That's going to make now one of the nervous. nervous. Oh, man. They're both on the same puzzle. Clean. Nope. Clean so far. Knight five. There we go. Uh, it's, it's literally deadlocked. These guys are moving lightning fast. Literally. The first puzzle missed could be the person going home here. And... 
I'm just rook takes c5 here. All right. Jimis has, has a small, tiny little lead here. He's putting the putting the pressure on Ray. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I I I see a small lead for Ray Robson. Ray, yeah, Ray overtakes it. Ray now. overtakes him. It's 33 to 29 from the score. I can see 34 to 30. 33. Ray All is right. rolling right now. Again, a win, a three-point victory. Oh, my gosh, and Jimis misses. Oh, Jimis gets one the wrong. Nerves oh, are real. my God. Oh, man. But that's just one. He's still doing fine. He's still in the lead if he stays perfect from here. In yes, the match lead. But Ray, Ray is apparently Ray saving. Ray is going so fast. Ray Look is at apparently this. saving He's his four. best rush for last. Look at this He's drama right here. He's four points ahead. He's four points ahead here. Oh, oh my Jimis gosh, gets how does he solve wrong. that obstacle fisher position? And Jimis misses his second puzzle. And Ray with a beautiful, with a beautiful solution there. Before wins a rook. Look at the speed. Look at the speed. Look at the speed by Ray. This is so crazy. Look at the speed. And Jimis, Jimis has that two hanging He's over got the him. Two, all Ray has He's to do now one. is just stay focused. He's got to stay focused. He's got to keep solving. Jim is creeping up on him now. 45 to 41. No, 43, 46 I, to 43. We're all at and slightly Jimis, different Jimis angles of how we're observing it. But the two that's wrong, the two that's wrong for Jimis is Jimis the problem. Is okay, Jimis gets one, 48 to 44. Look he at the should have gone Christopher Yu. His eyes can't stop watching Ray. He's got five. He can't He's stop got looking at Ray's score. Lead. He's got a four-point lead. He's got... Dude. And Jim is... Oh, oh Ray gets, Ray gets one wrong. He opens oh, the man. door. Now, he opens the door, and Jim has got a... But Ray gets the 50. 51. He's four points ahead. It, this might be over. Jim is 47. Jim is trying his oh, best. Oh, my gosh. Force. Oh, Final man. Final moments. Two He's seconds. One, one, one second. 48. 51. 51. 51. 51. 51. 51. Oh, my gosh. And Ray wins oh, it in the Ray last round. Oh, Ray gets it. Holy gosh. Oh, my and Ray God. goes nuts. Oh my gosh, he's pumped that, up. Did you see that? That was, I'm speechless. Oh my gosh, I'm speechless. And Ray at the last second with a Literally. 52 to 48 overcomes a two point deficit to win by a final score of nine to seven. And your first ever Puzzle Battles World Chess Champion is Grandmaster Ray Robson, the caterpillar whom is spicy. As Yoda once said, go spicy or go home. Oh, my Un gosh. <laughs> this, dude, unbelievable. You couldn't have scripted that. That was so you could not. flipping bananas. My heart is beating like 200 beats. I mean, this is just pure adrenaline. Oh my Incredible. gosh, Ray and Robson. The speed of the 40s, he was just rifling through them. The speed, you're right. And and not only did he put it all together, he was he was fast, silencing the critics that he can't speed up when it matters most. He was consistent as he's as he's developed his reputation. People people calling Jim is for a choke is just not the case, guys. Look at look at the rounds. 48 is still one of his better rounds. It, it's it's not like he completely fell apart, but I gotta be totally honest. Uh, guys, I have the averages up. And uh, we're still on live, points. Simon. Oh, are we? Yep. Oops. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> there you go. We are gonna take a very, very short break. Everyone's pumped here. We're gonna be right we back. We all need a second here. We need to take a sip of our green teas. And just process what happened. <laughs> you have green tea? No, I have I have black coffee, but I have I'm just coat. like, what is that? Throat coat tea. It's fantastic, especially people who talk a lot. Oh, throat. I see. Oh, so you're implying that you're talking a lot. We'll be we'll be <laughs> we'll be right back with an Love interview with an interview with the first ever puzzle battle world chess champion Grandmaster Ray Robson. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back.
And we are now back, not just with Grandmaster Ray Robson, who manages to take home the first ever Puzzle Battle World Championship, but the runner-up by the narrowest of possible margins, the man who in many ways was the champion of the people's hearts, Jimis. Uh, you, you, you did it, Demetrius Latopoulos. Congratulations on an amazing event. And uh, I, I'm going to start with you, uh, Jimis. Uh, I keep calling you Jimis because you're usually, I'm sorry, Demetrius. How, yeah, how, amazing, how amazing has this experience been for you, competing against the title players that you have, having this opportunity to, to prove to the world what a puzzle battle specialist is capable of? And, and take us, I know it didn't end the way you wanted, but take us through your feelings right now. I mean, even though it didn't end in the upper world, I mean, it still feels great. I mean, I was almost the whole match in the front, in front. So, I mean, it was quite good feeling. But okay, in the end, I guess the press could or what? I mean, I, I scored pretty decent, 48. But okay, Ray got got that some spirit, I would say. I mean, in the last match. Uh, Demetrius, I don't know if you saw the uh, the video shared by Christopher Yu's dad, where he he was hiding hiding his opponent's score with the piece of paper so he could stay focused. We notice we notice when watching you, it's impossible for us not to. We have a very close up view of your eyes that you tend to look a lot at your opponent's score, and and do you feel like that helps you? Does that help you to kind of push you to know how fast they're going? Or in hindsight, did that hurt you? Did it lead to some nerves as you saw Ray pulling ahead in that last in that last particular rush? Uh, I mean, in general, it didn't help me. I mean, first of all, the main thing I'm looking is not the score. I'm looking at the time because I have somehow programmed uh, how much I want to have in every time period. I mean, I want to have like 25 plus in the one minute. 14, uh, one, 1 and 10 seconds or something like that. So it wasn't I was looking uh, mainly race score, but the time actually, that's why. Oh. But again, the last match I was looking a lot his score and I messed up with two early mistakes and then I wasn't able to go full mode as I wanted. And I did, so yeah, gone fairly. Well, I mean, I, as I said, I know it ends sadly for you, and I'm sorry for the tough questions. Thank you so much for joining us. But again, the fans, the fans you have earned are very real, uh, Demetrius. So you can take that home along with the prize money. O on to you, Ray. You're taking home the title, the first ever Puzzle Battle World Chess Champion. You, you, uh, I guess you did what you set out to do. But how nervous were you there? It took it took an epic comeback in the final round. Take us through what was going on with you as you as you pulled off that 52 to 48 final rush. Yeah, no, I think, I mean, I knew I was going to be nervous, but I mean, I was kind of slightly nervous before almost all the other matches as well, obviously more for this one, but I was hoping it wouldn't affect me too much. But yeah, in the first uh, maybe three or four, especially, I did a lot worse than I was hoping to. Um, it was like yesterday, I got over 50 every round, and today, those first rounds, I didn't get any above 50. And uh, yeah, Jameis was was getting like 51, 52, 50. So I was just in a big hole. Wasn't sure how to get myself out of it. I wasn't able to ever really break free, get like a 55 or anything. And maximum was getting 51. So um, I was really happy when I cut the score uh, to get at least closer, less than five. Um, so I was at least within striking distance. But yeah, for the last, the last rush, um, I did a practice. <laughs> Puzzle rush before the uh, the last round and just uh, tried to go try to go fast try to just go for it and I was only down two so I just had to go for it and fortunately I managed to get my my best one of the whole whole day. Go ahead, Daniel. Well, you hinted at what I was about to ask just now, but before the last run or maybe throughout the the rush in the contest in general, were you telling yourself, okay, I have to modify my strategy by playing faster or solving the first 25 puzzles faster? Were you kind of trying to modulate the risks that you were taking? The thing is, I didn't really want to be taking risks. I was just not solving well, like, especially mm -hmm. in the beginning today. And so I was both not going especially fast. And also I was just missing things. I'm sure you noticed I missed those, at least a few. Yeah, you were terrible, Ray. It was the worst uh, rush I think we've ever seen. <laughs> um, 
Well, well, wait, what was the original question? Did I modulate my strategy? Did you change? I, but but you answered. Did, did you go consciously go faster or slower based on how you're performing? Did you kind of tell yourself that? Yeah, like it's so tough because I don't know what he's gonna do. I think I like seeing his score. As you guys mentioned, like it could be an idea to cover the score, which I never do because like when you when I'm playing, usually at some point I always see my score going higher than my opponent's. When I play Jimis, it's just like he starts going higher and higher. And I can't catch up, so I start to get nervous and I'm worried that like he's just gonna get all the puzzles right. I'll never be able to catch up, so it puts more pressure on me. So yeah, I mm -hmm. think it. And just seeing his score affected me uh, without me even trying to change anything consciously mm -hmm. and it just put extra pressure on me that way mm -hmm. well on that note then does the young christopher you have it right is this the best is this the secret because I, I know it's silly i mean it's all of us i i uh, you know playing chess as, as as juniors coming up i mean sometimes you're told that by coaches and parents don't pay attention to the opponent's rating but even then a rating is different than being mid match, right? Where you can see someone's score going up. It's not even the it's not even a psychological trick. Is there an argument to be made that watching your opponent's score is is quite the distraction, both emotionally and mentally, just for your focus? Ray? My, my dad actually <laughs> asked me if I was gonna consider doing that, um, because he'd also seen the thing with Christopher you. But as I said, what Jimis was also saying is that there's um, also the time is right next to the score. So it's even if you don't look at the score, it's really important to look at the time. Ah. Um, so that's one of the main reasons why I, I didn't really consider doing it. But during the match, I was kind of wishing almost that somehow I could because, yeah, it, it was. My, my three-year-old is really good at arts and crafts. Maybe I could get her to cut like a piece of paper perfectly, <laughs> that what we'll do is we'll hang over the corner of the laptop and it only blocks the score and not the timer. Jimis, would you use that? Demetrius, if I made you one, if I sent you one? Something that hides the score, not the timer? Uh, yes, I don't think I would have any problem, but I actually want to see the score. I mean, it's not realistic. I don't think it would help me in the long run to not, to doesn't, not to don't know my opponent's scores because in one or two matches, I was like three or four behind with 13 seconds that I managed to tie. So if I didn't go, if, so if I didn't know exactly the score, I wouldn't be so fast and I was gonna think, oh, okay, I have time, so let's go slower. And then I would realize I would be like two behind. But okay, for the final match, it would be really important to have that paper. <laughs> Got it. Well, uh, you guys were both, I mean, amazing, and I, we couldn't have we couldn't have possibly scripted it. I mean, you, you guys, we had no idea what was going to happen, and you guys left us with a with a thrilling desire for more of these types of events as we continue to to work on it and and figure out the best format possible for this thing. I want to I want to ask you one more one more question, Demetrius, as uh, a guy, as I said, who's become kind of a people's champion, an untitled player. You're taking home several thousand dollars, even though you didn't win the entire event. What would be your uh, your words of encouragement for all those out there watching here on chess.com, what to do to, to get themselves in the next Puzzle Battle World Championship next year? Uh, I mean, uh, the main advice I can give, I guess, is practice, because part of practice makes perfection and everything in life. Uh, other than that, I think you have to be quite fast with the mouse. I mean, I am, I am in general because I play Bullet for like, 15 years or so, so you need also some speed mouse. Uh, I mean, I don't know exactly. I just practice, actually. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Well, Ray, now what do you do that you're the first ever Puzzle Battle World Champion? Do you, I mean, do you thank the Academy and retire, or are you gonna, you gonna try to be better next year? <laughs> uh, I don't know, I'm not really thinking about next year. Next year's far away, like, Maybe I, I won't play as much. It won't be as good. Maybe there will be a bunch of other people who are also super strong at Puzzle Rush at that point. So um, no, I'm just happy for for today. Um, yeah, especially with the way everything everything was going today. I'm just happy with um, with what I have for now. Well, congratulations, Donnie. Any, any final questions? Um, I think you're both just incredible this was a treat to watch congratulations ray and uh, demetrios you're i mean you're a monster so you have a lot to be proud of um this was this was incredible so 
I'm excited for next year. And um, this was just uh, an absolute treat. We've officially given you the nickname, the Greek gift. So um, use your prize money to buy yourself something nice, Demetri Demetrius, uh, and uh, go ahead. I guess I, I have to buy, I guess, some PC, I guess, because I'm playing from an old laptop at this point. So it doesn't have any battery, actually. Okay. <laughs> well, thank so you. Thank you, guys. And again, it's been awesome. Uh, congratulations to you both. And uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see you next year. Yes. Congratulations, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. And that was that. Danya, the first ever puzzle battle world championship comes to an end. Epic, epic match. It was it was comeback fashion. If somehow you're just tuning in, I feel bad for you. You missed something that <laughs> yeah. was uh, that was spectacular. This was this is something people are going to remember for a long time. It was a photo finish. We were treated to just displays of excellence, and um, we cannot help but but uh, give our full appreciation to that. So I had so much fun watching and. Um, it was incredible. Indeed, I won't uh, won't try to say what you just said again because you said it perfectly. I will Aww, say thank you, Danny. I will say, speaking <laughs> of excellence, we've got a bunch of really good chess players throwing down in the Pro Chess League, uh, week in and week out. And the uh, schedule for this week, I have it now in terms of the match I'm looking looking most forward to. You want to guess which one it is? Uh, would it happen to be the one between California Unicorns and uh, the Chicago Wind? There you go. Because chance. you know why. My uh, my, um, my co-host for the last couple of days. He won the hearts. He won the hearts of uh, of many. Aww. Mr. Daniel Naroditsky. This was a lot <laughs> of fun, though, man. Seriously, and wish wishing California the best of luck. I like Chicago as well. A lot a lot of great mm -hmm. players there. Eric yeah. Eric Rosen playing for. Or no, he's one of the managers. I don't I don't even know actually the uh, the lineup. Um, yeah, but, uh, embarrassingly, I'm not sure either. But um, whoever it is, California Unicorns always win. Just like the 49ers will win the Super Bowl. Okay, you know. there you go. That's the guarantee we wanted. Speaking that of is things we want, let's remind everybody of our virtual chess coach. We all have one now. His name is Dr. Wolf. He's uh he's he, he's he's in possession of a very expensive goatee trimmer. So I can tell you that it takes mm -hmm. a lot to get to get that beard to look as good as it does. And uh try it. Try the app for free today. Download it from the Apple store. And if you are an Android user, stay tuned. It's coming to you uh Coming to you in a matter of weeks, not months. So make sure you got that. Uh, Mr. Narodisky, I'm not sure how, how you are at Bughouse slash Doubles here on Chess.com. Uh, for those who don't know, Doubles Chess, you uh, play with a teammate and you give your pieces to them and it's a blast. We've got Grace coming up. She's known as Helms Knight along with special guest today, Daniel Yeager. Uh, and, uh, and if you know this, he's also pretty good. At the at the game of Bughouse, he's a legend. So mm -hmm. That's going to be right here on this channel, the Chess Channel. So don't go anywhere. All you got to do is stay put. Leave the player up. Go get yourself a snack. Check on the uh, check on the NFL scores. And uh, we'll see you next time here for Chess.com. This is the Puzzle Battle World Championship. Danya, any final words? Um, what an incredible event! Um, and I'm happy we're passing it into the very capable hands of of Grace for just uh, more mastery in the field of doubles chess. But I had so much fun. Danny, you're awesome. And um, hope everyone enjoyed the tournament. It was well, something I'm go. looking forward to. Feelings mutual, man. It's been a lot of fun. And seriously, I think uh, I think having having your puzzle expertise really made this final weekend a treat for everybody that tuned in. So thank you oh, thank for that. You. Shout out to the Diamond member who won Danya's heart with the, uh, with the favorite amazing under promotion tactic. That was incredible. Incredible. For the crew here at chess.com, for uh, everybody, I'm going to sign off and just tell you thank you for tuning into the first ever Puzzle Battles World Chess Championship. Go follow me on Twitter because that's one of the only things I can see on the screen right now. And I feel like I should mention it along with the app. Download the app, follow me on Twitter. Next year's Puzzle Battle World Chess Championship will be even bigger and better, and we'll see you then.